Hello and welcome to this screencast on MATLAB and spreadsheets. In this screencast we're going to see how we can get data from a spreadsheet into MATLAB as a variable and vice versa how we might export MATLAB variables for use outside of MATLAB and other programs. So let's start with the first thing I mentioned which is taking data from a spreadsheet and turning it into a MATLAB variable. It turns out this is a really nice pairing between Excel and MATLAB because of the way that MATLAB treats everything as a vector or as an array. Let me show you how this works. Over here in this Excel spreadsheet now, outside of MATLAB, I have a bunch of data on the U.S. unemployment rates from January 1948 all the way down through uh, October of 2004. And I'd like to import all that stuff as a single large variable in MATLAB. And here's how, there's several ways to do this in MATLAB, and I'm going to show you the easiest way. We're going to go to MATLAB, and I'm going to create a, a new variable by going to the workspace and clicking on this uh, icon here for create a new variable. So it's going to create it, give me an option for naming, I'll call it us underscore uh, unemployment, and just hit enter. And right now this uh, variable, if I go over here and ask it to give it to me, it's just going to consist of a single vector with a single point in it, namely zero. Now I can go back over here to the workspace and double click on any variable I like, and what we'll bring up is an editor. And I can edit any variable that's here, whether it's a, a single number, a vector, or an entire array of numbers, by double-clicking. And it's like a little spreadsheet unto itself, and that's how we're going to do this. Here's an empty spreadsheet for U.S. unemployment, and I'm just simply going to go and copy and paste all the numerical data from the spreadsheet and just dump it here in the MATLAB variable. Now, numerical data only. Uh, this does not work with strings, so I'm going to have to leave off the column headers here for the purposes of what I'm going to do. But otherwise, I'm going to just click and drag to highlight all the numerical data, including the year, and including these two blank cells, and we'll explain about that in a minute. And then just simply copy, and then over here in MATLAB, go to the top cell and highlight it right click and then it even gives you a paste Excel data. It knows that you've gone and grabbed some Excel data and just paste it in and voila, we have a MATLAB variable called US Unemployment that is now a 57 by 13 uh, array of data. Now one thing I want to point out here that is you can't see it from the screen but it's very important. In the original spreadsheet of data the November and December unemployment rates were blank. Uh, in MATLAB they are not left blank. In MATLAB it's automatically padded, I'm, oops I missed it, automatically padded with zeros here and here. Those are actually blank cells but because of the way that MATLAB works with uh, arrays all the columns in this array have to have the same length so if there's an, any blank cell that has a zero automatically stuck into it. That can be problematic for purposes for using MATLAB, uh, you just need to be aware of it. So I'm now just going to close out of the window and back into MATLAB and I see U.S. unemployment is now fully populated and I can just display it on the screen like so. Now what's nice about this pairing between Excel and MATLAB 2 is that this goes in the other direction. If I wanted to create a matrix or an array of numbers in MATLAB, for example, let's let A uh, just be uh, say 4, 5, 6, 9, 8, 7 this little 2 by 3 guy there, it shows up in the workspace. I can export uh, these variables in a couple of ways. One thing I can do, if I have a really large matrix and I want to work with it, but not in MATLAB, I can double click it, there is entries, and I can copy, highlight, and copy, and then go over here to Excel and open up a new workbook and simply paste that in. Like so. So I can actually export by copying and pasting uh, information from, an, from a MATLAB variable into an Excel spreadsheet and work with it over here in Excel if I want to. Another way that we often get uh, MATLAB variables out of MATLAB is to export them into what's called an MAT file. Now we've been working with M files quite a bit. Uh, an MAT file, by contrast, is just, a is just a file that contains a MATLAB variable. So if you want uh, to send someone not a list of commands that would be in an M file, but rather the variable that you're working with. We would click on the variable we want and, and do save as. And this will bring up a dialog box to save. Uh, we can call this just uh, my array. And let's say we put it on our desktop. And when I save it, you see it shows up here on the desktop as myarray.mat. Now again, a .mat file is a, is a variable from MATLAB that has been exported, and I can attach this to an email and send it to my colleagues or my collaborators and say, hey, I'm working with this particular variable, this particular array of data uh, here in MATLAB, here it is. It's different from code, that's an M file. And then I can import this later on uh, using MATLAB myself. 
One final thing to mention here too is that the way of working back and forth with spreadsheets is nice because this doesn't have to be Excel either. For example, I could copy and paste data from any spreadsheet I like. Perhaps it's a OpenOffice.org's free spreadsheet or Google spreadsheets as well. It's all the same copy-paste procedure. So that's how to use MATLAB and Excel and other spreadsheets together hand-in-hand. -hand. Uh, good luck using it. Thanks for watching.